I'm Robert Vaughan, I'm the Provincial Grandmaster for Worcestershire and this is my first video newsletter. Now we've got a very special event coming up in the next few weeks. It's our Provincial Grand Lodge in a new location this year. That's right. We've been holding our annual meeting of Provincial Grand Lodge in the Great Hall of Birmingham University for many decades now. But given the greatly increasing student population there now and the vast amount of building work and development going on on that site, they're finding it rather more difficult to accommodate us there in the way that they used to. And we've decided to relocate for the first time to Chateau Ipney Hotel in Droitwich. And that's where we shall be and we're looking forward to that new departure very much indeed. And we've got a very special guest joining us this year, the Pro Grand Master. The Programme Master of the United Grand Lodge of England indeed will be with us on there. It's a great honour for, for us. Um, the Programme Master has not visited Worcestershire before and I'm not aware that any Programme Master of the uh, United Grand Lodge of England has attended a meeting in Worcestershire, not in recent years in any case. So it's a great honour and a privilege for us and we're looking forward very much to welcoming him there on that day. And does that make you feel a little bit nervous knowing he will be there? No, it'll make the Director of Ceremonies and the Secretary nervous, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to enjoy the occasion very much, and I'm sure he'll be uh, very relaxed and supportive of the whole day. And of course, we're well and truly in festival at the moment. How's it all going? Festival is going very well. Everybody's working very hard, everybody's being extremely generous, and I'm looking forward to a very successful outcome uh, in 2022. We have set ourselves a target of £2,022,000 to achieve by that date and I'm hoping on the 5th of June at the annual meeting that we'll be able to say that we are halfway there and if we can achieve that then I'm sure we're very much on the right track and we're going to be successful at the end of the day. And we've got lots of events to look forward to happening in the next few months. We certainly have. In terms of fundraising for the festival, we have two significant events in the near future. One is a summer ball at Worcester County Cricket Ground, which I'm sure will be a great success and a wonderful venue that is too. And also in July, uh, we are holding a regatta on the River Severn, which will be a friendly competition between a number of Cox Fours, including representatives of many local provinces who have agreed to compete on a very friendly basis, I'm sure. And also we have received a challenge from the Assistant Grandmaster, who will be competing as well, who I understand is a very professional rower, as opposed to the rest of us who are rather less expert, but we'll certainly give him the best, the best challenge that we can. And if anybody would like to find out more about the great work that's happening in the province of Worcestershire, what should they do? Well, the first place to look always is our provincial website, which covers all the activities of the province in, in great detail. Those events I've described are certainly referred to on there. And everything else that's going on in the province in terms of social activity, charitable giving, and, and in every other way, is, is there to be seen. So please take advantage of that opportunity. What would you like the question to be to help you? Um, uh, how is it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that, right? was that Was that the right wording? Yeah. Brilliant. That, that actually, that was <laughs> fantastic. Like that. Like that. that was fantastic. Yeah. So